Shalom. Shalom. We want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Citations to the elect that are scattered abroad. To you, I say Shalom. It's your brother Barak Abar. Brother Amor Ayabad. You know, we're just uh, doing a walk and talk, just rolling in the spirit. And, uh, you know, after camp, we just rolling in the spirit. Just going to speak about, you know, what's prevalent right now in the, in the, in the, in the world right now. Right. Okay, you know, we were just speaking off camera about the train derailments and uh, border crisis and uh, what else you said? Uh, uh, train derailments. Right. Uh, it's, just, it's just a whole lot of things right. going on right now. And it's, at one time. Yeah, at one time. But the scriptures speak about what, what we always speak about, 2 Timothy 3 and 1, about uh, in the end times, perilous times shall come. And this is what, uh, uh, this is what we're seeing. We're seeing perilous times right now. All over, and you got people that are wondering what's going on. Oh my gosh, uh, uh, the world is changing. People are getting more violent right. because this is what the scriptures was talking about. Right. So that that, 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 that Title Forty Two thing that's going on right now. That, that's that's the new subject right now. That just expired, and then they they letting these immigrants come through, and they are not stopping them. They say they're gonna process them all, something of that sort, you know. But it's just a whole a whole rust of stuff. That's going on. They're talking about the uh, the debt ceiling. If they was to default on that, okay, that's gonna cause a lot of people to use, lose their jobs, their benefits, their perks. You know, and people are already losing jobs, man. You know, when people can't eat, mm. you know, things go haywire like mm -hmm. real quick. You know, so we're coming up on a time. We're embarking on a time where we're gonna be living in dangerous times, as the brother just quoted. Okay, Second Timothy three and one. This know also that in the last days we are in the last days. That's what we're living in right now. The last days, that's why things is getting so tight and so bad. You know, look at the, look at the cost of living. We, we live mm. in a time of inflation. Look at the housing market. It's screwed up. Mm -hmm. People can't, bro, they say, you don't even have, people don't even have $400 for an emergency. Yeah, I thought it was a thousand. Yeah. Right. No, but they say, they say that, that certain percentage of certain people. Some people don't have $400 for an emergency. Yeah. A car broke down or something. This is the kind of, this, man, this is why people leaving it. Leaving oh, the, they, they also said that the, the, a lot of people are buying groceries from credit cards because they can't afford groceries. Right. We're living in times where if you don't work overtime, if you don't live with about three or four people, and it, it's, it, you could damn near survive. There you go. You see, that's why I was just speaking on the housing market. It's screwed up. Okay? It's screwed up. You ain't making everything raising except your pay. Everything. You know? Everything costs more. The, the food. Everything. The housing. Yep. You know, even cars you buy. And, and that causes what? Uh, when, when things go up in price, everything else goes up in price. So people charge more for certain things now. There you go. You know, certain products. You notice it was a certain price. Look at look at the price of the eggs the other day. Mm -hmm. In some places, it's still high. I noticed it started to come down uh, a little because I bought some eggs the other day. 18, 18 count, it was like 250, 252. And that's the first thing I noticed. I said, it, it kind of came back down, but it was high the other day. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> so, what I'm saying. So, so uh, by us saying all these things, what we're telling you that these things are in the scriptures and that eventually, through, through, through more prophecies coming, right. the Lord is coming back, man. So this is what we're speaking about all week on highways and hedges, and and and, and it's going to get even more tight and right. tight and tight. It's going to keep squeezing. Right. Things are going to become so hard that it's it, it, hey, the scriptures say uh, in Revelation a week a uh, penny a uh, 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 measure of uh, a penny for for a me you know. Uh, the, Basically, a day's worth of wage for 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 to just to eat. Right. That's how you know when when when, when things are real bad. Okay, if you got to work just to eat, like one work a full day's work yeah. just yeah. to order to get in order to get a meal, man. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> but this is this is what's coming, man. That's what we're preparing for because at the end of the day, that's why we trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai because guess why? We know it's Him who provides food, mm -hmm. shelter, and raiment mm -hmm. through Him. You could get those things. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into the night safe, man. That's right. That's why we ain't gonna stop from calling on Yahweh mm -hmm. Shemel. Shall we pray the Lord keep the spirit on us to keep doing that to to, to, to to endure until the end? Because that's what's gonna be delivered. Those who endure, yeah. you gotta endure this, man. You yeah. gotta endure hardness for Yahweh Shemel. Shall we? Because at the end of the day, hard times are coming. 
You got to be hard, man. Yeah. Well, well, if you think now it's hard, right? You just buckle up, because right now people are stealing. Right. They had to shut a couple of those WalMarts down. Right. Uh, uh over there in um, uh, well, so I think in uh, Seattle and right. in Chicago, because right. people keep stealing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they got those self, they got those self checkout uh registers. Right. What you think? And a lot of people are stealing because why? They can't afford to survive. They can't afford to survive, man. So yeah. it, more lawlessness is coming, more right. of it. It's coming, more oh, violence yeah. is coming because oh, when yeah. people lack necessities, they're going to steal, they're right. going to take because they don't have the wisdom of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Right. And all that, every time, remember the scripture saying, thou shalt not, thou shalt not steal. So at the end of the day, what is that doing? That, that's just that's bringing upon more iniquity. So mm -hmm. that goes back to the, the prophecy, Matthew 24 and uh, 12. Because the iniquity shall, shall abound, the, the love of many, many shall, shall wax cold. cold. And we know when you go into that word cold, it means psycho. So these people uh -huh. are going to lose they, their they, minds. And they look, they, you see the beginning stages of it, though. Right. I'm seeing uh, uh, more uh, uh, violent crimes I, I, uh, up where I live at in Florida, northern Florida, uh, somewhat northern Florida. Right. You know, I live in somewhat of an Edomite field community, it's kind of what they call it, suburbs, and you got Edomites uh, 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 robbing uh, uh, pharmacy places. You see? Going up, telling them they need their drug, they, they uh, opioids. Mm -hmm. There's more crime happening, even in these suburban neighborhoods. Right. Because they're gonna, they're gonna want their fix. Mm -hmm. They're gonna do what they have to do to get exactly. it. Exactly. They ain't gonna give a damn. Because what? Things are getting, they can't afford it. Right. You see, that's where the violence gonna come in. Yep. They're they gonna go psycho. Yep. Because they want their fix. That's right. You see? But, but, but the scriptures say, uh, you know, unto you that fear my name, he's gonna come, you know, he's coming with healing in his way, he's coming to save. Mm. Okay? So this is what we're, we're, we're preaching to our people. Oh, the Lord also said that you, you can discern the signs of the sky. But can you not discern the signs of the time? Yes, man. You see? So, come on, man. Right. <laughs> People know that something in the earth is wrong. Right. But because because this, they, they, they're, they're so caught up into the lust of the world, you know, they're into the world. That's why the scriptures tell us to be to love not the world. Mm -hmm. But these people are, they love the world. Yep. And that's mm -hmm. the reason why they do the things that are not convenient for uh -huh. themselves. It's not profitable for, them, for their own selves because they love the world. They love it. They yeah. love the, 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 the freedom of, of uh, the freedom that Esau Edom has given them a license to sin right. against the Heavenly Father. Well, the Lord said he ever given no man license to sin. Mm -hmm. they, 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 that's, that's the spirit of Dan. Yep. You know, they love it. They love it. They love to have it so, the scripture say. Mm -hmm. You know? They want, they, they, just, they, they just wanted the wicked, man. Yep. They, they feel good coming in the adultery, sleeping with sleep the next mile, wife and all this mm -hmm. stuff. Like they, that, they, they, they proud themselves on that. They'll tell you about, oh, I fucked that nigga bitch. Yep. And all of that shit, like, mm -hmm. as, if, as, if, as if it's something good. As if, if somebody do to them, they're not gonna feel exactly. super bad. Yeah. But yet they will talk with it as if, yeah, yeah they like, don't give a damn your feelings. Like that's, adultery is normalized in this society. You know what I'm saying? Everything uh, 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 wicked is normalized. Right. But the law say, well, we just read at camp, the law said, I will punish the world for their iniquity. So the Lord is going to start punishing you people for, for your wrongdoings. Mm -hmm. He's going to start punishing you because your behavior is out of tact. Right. So, hey, at the end of the day, man, we see clearly what's happening at Tawada Yabba Shimiyam Shai. Tawada Yabba Shimiyam Shai. We see what's coming, man. Destruction is, is coming, man. Judgment is going to come ultimately. Mm -hmm. So this is why we let you know to repent and get yourself together, man. We see all of the things that are happening in the earth. We know it's, up, it's the hand of the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. It's either on the right-hand side or the, on the left-hand <laughs> side. But guess what? At the end of the day, who controls the right and the left? Uh -huh. Okay, the deceiver and the deceiver are his, man. Right. So you can't escape... In no kind of way. No kind of way. You know, you ain't gonna right. be able to, to escape the hands of the Lord except you doing the will of the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know that's what I'm right. saying? And you're a part of that number. Mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> so, hey man, with all that's going on in the world, the, the main thing is just uh, keep the main thing, the main thing, and stay focused, man. Mm -hmm. stay focused on the word of the Lord, keeping your hand to the plow. Because at the end of the day, we need a covering, man. And we, oh, yeah. we pray that our covering is Yahweh Shimi Shimei That's right. Because for the things that's coming on the earth. You needs to be afraid, man. Oh yeah. You needs to be afraid. Good healthy <laughs> dose. Yeah. <laughs> you need it because we know the, 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 the Lord's words doesn't return unto him vain. And those things that he written and, and, and have put into paper, we know they're gonna come to pass, man. That's we right. know these things are gonna happen. Operas of the people, World War Three, the return of our Lord, all of these things are gonna happen. So guess what? Why wouldn't you take a position? You need to come out of neutral and get into gear. <laughs> yeah. Get into the right side of the Lord. 
Because mm-hmm. anything else, it ain't going to be profitable <laughs> for you, bro. Yeah. Go ahead, you got to go. Yeah, so, hey, with that, Lord willing you, we were edified. We're going to end it there until the next time. Even though all on glory and praise unto Yahweh, 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 Double honors to the elders and the apostles of greatness, still who taught us this truth and rule well. Salutations and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth and truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Until the next time, Shalom. Shalom.